Hi, and welcome to Three Questions With. We've got Davis McVeigh with us. Davis is a mortgage officer. In today's segment, we want to talk a little bit about some of the myths in the mortgage business. Davis, welcome to the show. Thanks, Kev. So, Davis, I come across a lot of people, and they live in some really sweet apartments, bud. You know, it's beautiful. They're paying $2,500 a month. And I'm like, you know what? That apartment is beautiful, but you could be in a home for that price. And one of the things I, they see is like, yeah, that's true, Kev, but I don't have any money down. Or they think, you know, you need perfect credit. Can you talk about some of the programs that may be a great fit for these people? Yeah, sure. So a lot of first-time home buyers that are currently renting at these these higher price point rents, which is more and more common as rents have just kept increasing, um, could be living in a home of a similar size for that same amount. Um, people think with down payment and credit and all of that, we have programs that can go down to like a 580 credit score. Credit is not always the big issue. I work with tons of people over the course of years to build it up if I need to. Um, and down payment, mortgage insurance is extremely competitive, especially for first time home buyers. They give you tons of discounts because of that. And we have programs by Fannie and Freddie that can go down to three and 5% um, down payment. So you can save a little bit more money, get into the home and that $2,500 a month you're paying for your rent. If you're paying the same thing on a mortgage, good amount of that's going to your equity. So you're actually paying yourself in the future earning more of the home, and your home is an investment that can appreciate. So Davis, if people are thinking about buying a home maybe three, six months, a year from now, shouldn't they sit down with you, maybe look at their credit, make sure everything's where it needs to be in case there's some issues they may be able to correct before they want to do that? Does that make sense? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I talk to people as much, sometimes like a year to two years out. Um, I really try to get everyone at least three to six months, um, even a month. You know, last second it's okay, but... If you want to make sure you get the best rate, we can work on your credit. Um, and you want to avoid any major inquiries before. You want to watch how you're using your money and how you're moving it around. And there's just a few things that can you know, really save you a lot of money in interest and other things over the course of your loan if you just get ahead of it a little bit and come to me a couple months early. So Davis, how can people reach out? How can they learn more? Yeah, so I mean, you can hit me up on any of my socials. Um, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, anything even if you want snapchat but uh i also the main thing is my cell phone uh it's 978-729-1102 i answer that thing 24 7 if you want to talk to me at 3 a.m because you work the midnight shift i'm there we can make that happen if you want to talk to me at 5 a.m because you wake up early and that's the only time you got because without the kids i'm there Great. Davis, really appreciate you jumping on the yeah, show. Thanks for having me. You just watched Three Questions With, brought to you by the New England B2B Networking Group. For more information, newenglandb2bnetworking.com.